In this demo, we will see how business users can look up a business term and provide feedback to the data steward to have the term updated. Business users are glossary consumers who look up glossary assets such as business terms and policies in Business Glossary Desktop or the Analyst tool. Before we begin, we must ensure that the administrator has created an account in the Analyst tool. We launch Business Glossary Desktop. The application runs in the background while we perform other business related tasks. As business users, we may come across business terms that we need to know more about. For example, we may want to know the definition of the word total sales and see related assets when reading a financial report. We can highlight the term that we want to look up and launch Business Glossary Desktop using a hotkey combination. The Business Glossary Desktop displays a list of assets that match the word that we highlighted. We can click the search results to view details about the term. We can launch the Analyst tool by clicking the icon in the top right. The Analyst tool opens in a browser. We log in using our credentials. We can view the properties of the term in the Glossary workspace. To view a pictorial depiction of the related assets, we click the Relationship View tab. To see the overview of related assets, we click the asset name in the diagram. To open the asset from the Relationship View diagram, we right click the asset name. When viewing the asset properties, if we need to provide feedback to the data steward, we can add a comment in the Glossary workspace. We will add a comment to propose a change to the term gross income. To receive notifications regarding updates to the asset, we click follow from the actions menu. We will now receive notifications when the data steward publishes changes to the asset. Next, we will log into the analyst tool as the data steward. We can see that the data steward is notified of the comment made by the business user. Based on the feedback, we will update the business term properties. To update a published term, we must first create a revision. The face of the business term changes to draft. All business users continue to see the current published version of the term until we publish the revision. We will add related business terms to gross income based on the feedback from the business user. We will propose the changes for a review. The face of the term changes to in review. After approval from the stakeholder, we will publish the revised term. The face changes to published. Next, we will log into the analyst tool as a business user. We receive a notification indicating that the data steward updated the term. We can see the revised term properties in the Analyst tool and Business Glossary desktop. We can click View History to see the changes that were made to the term. This animation describes the timeline of events after a business term is published. Business users, data stewards and stakeholders see the published version of the term. The business user adds a comment to the current version of the term. To update the properties of the term based on the comment, the data steward creates a revision. The data steward and stakeholders see the new version of the term. The business user continues to see the current published version. The data steward updates the term properties. The stakeholders and data steward see the revision which is in draft while the business user sees the current published version. After a review from the stakeholders, the data steward publishes the revised term. The business user now sees the updated term and so do the data steward and stakeholders. That completes this demo. To summarize, we launched Business Glossary Desktop from an external application 
by using hotkeys. The Business Glossary Desktop displays the properties of the term. From Business Glossary Desktop, we launched the Analyst tool to view the relationship diagram. We provided feedback to the data steward regarding a term by adding comments. The data steward updated the term properties and published the changes after approval from the stakeholders. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.